everyone so today we are looking at lead code number 268 it is a question called missing number and so we have an array uh, example one here we have an input array of 301 and we have 0 1 we're missing 2 and we have 3 so our output is 2 here our num is 2 uh, it's the, or the length is 2 so n is going to equal 2 so we have 0 and 1 and we're missing 2 and here the length is 9, and so we can count through all of these and we can see that the missing number is 8. Here the length is 1, and so we have 0, but we don't have 1. Okay, so there are three approaches to solving this problem. And we have a follow-up here that says, could you implement this solution only using constant extra space and a, a linear runtime complexity? So let's take a look at the three different ways we could approach this. Okay, so I have the input here of 3, 0, and 1. Okay, and so one way we could approach this is, is if we want to do it in constant space, then we can think of sorting this array. That's going to cost us uh, n log n time, okay, so to sort it, but we'll do it in place, and now we're going to have uh, an array that's going to be sorted, so it's going to be 0, 1, and 3. And then we can do a linear scan on this array and figure out where the missing number is. Okay, so we'll have constant space, but we're going to have n log n time, which is not what we want. Okay, so that's one way we could approach this. Uh, what's a different way we could approach this? Well, we could also use a strategy where we hash. Okay, so let's take a look at what that would look like. So if we, if we put all these numbers in a hash, so let's say I have a hash here, and I'm gonna have a key of three, which will equal true, a key of zero, which will equal true, and then a key of one, which will equal true, okay? So here we have a hash, and now what we can do is we can create an n variable, which is just going to be the length of this array. Okay, so it's going to be 3 in this case. And now we just iterate over, uh, over the array, or we iterate over these, uh, this num here. So let's say i equals 0 and then i is going to be less than or equal to n, okay? And then we check, is that key in the hash? So 0 is going to be there when it goes to 1. 1 is going to be there when it goes to 2. 2 is not in here, and so we return 2. Right? So that's the hashing method of, of solving this. What would the, the time and space complexity be for that? So we're going to have to hash everything. That's going to be linear time. We're going to have to run, we're going to have to scan over it again to find the missing number. That's going to be linear time. So our time complexity here will be linear, but we're going to have to create linear space with this hash. All right, so we're going to have O of N um, for space as well. Okay, so those are two ways, two brute force ways we could do this. We can optimize for space or we can optimize for time uh, and figure out a way to do this. Now, is there a way to do this in linear time in constant space? And the answer is yes. Okay, there is a way to do it, but it requires knowing uh, a famous algorithm. Okay, let me just go ahead and clear this all out. So, there is an algorithm that you can use, a formula you can use to get the sum of all the numbers. Okay, and use that as a way to figure out, just use the length of the array to figure out what the sum of all the numbers are if they're going from 0 to n. Okay, so I'm going to call this g sum. And the formula is n times n plus 1 divided by 2, where n is the length of the array. Okay, so in this case, the length is 3, so we're going to have 3 times 4 divided by 2, which is going to equal 6. All right, 
And so now that we have the sum of that, just using a constant mathematical operation based off the length of the array, what we can then do is use reduce to get the sum of our input array, which is going to be 4. And now you can see that if we subtract g sum from our reduced sum, we're going to get the missing number, which is 2. Okay? And if we use this method, what is our time and space complexity? Well, this part, this part here is going to be a constant time operation. And getting this part here is going to be a linear time operation. And so our worst case here is going to be O of n for time. And then what about space? Well, we are creating no new space. The only space we're creating is for the four here and then our g sum, which is going to be constant regardless of the size of the input. And so we can, uh, we can have a constant space for, for this solution. OK, so it's a very clever way to solve this and very elegant way. Um, but however, I think if you don't know that g sum formula, uh, the, you know, it would be very hard to figure this out in an interview setting. So then you have two different approaches that you could figure out, which is the hashing method or the sorting method. Okay, so let's go ahead and code this out. So here we're going to have our g sum here, which is just going to be nums.length times nums.length minus or plus one, okay, divided by two going to put extra parentheses here just to make it clean. Okay, and then we're going to have our num sum, which is just going to, we're just going to reduce all the, the numbers inside of that array. Okay, and then all we have to do is just return our g sum minus our n sum. Uh, let's see here, and sum reduce ACC. Oh, we need nums.reduce. Okay. And so that does it. You can see we get great performance using this method to solve this problem. All right, so that is lead code number 268, missing number. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all on the next one.